Hello everybody and welcome back, where today we're jumping into a game that I haven't touched for quite a long time. A game that I rate incredibly highly, put an S at every tier list that I do, and one that I just raved about when it came out. I've had a bit more experience now in the PSVR 2 space in terms of reviewing, and I've tried out all sorts of games, and I've jumped back into Red Matter 2 today to see if it really holds up as the best looking game on the platform to a certain extent. And already, you can't tell the difference between 120 and 60 on your end, but I sure can, because the actual recording of this game is 60 FPS for you guys, but in my eyes, I'm getting double the frames. And bloody hell, is it <laughs> lifelike in terms of how it feels. To follow my instructions, and we'll get you out of here in no time. Okay, so those facial animations were a little bit worse than I remember, but uh, it's quite a hard thing to do indie-wise. And immediately, once you step out of this elevator here, you... you I mean, yeah. Okay, first things first. <laughs> it makes up for it, doesn't part. it? It's just how, how nice the aesthetic of everything is, and it gets better later on as well. But, like, look at that, man. That is nuts out there. Um, and the Earth. Which is, I know it's just a backdrop, essentially, but it's incredible, it really is. Anyway, let's get this suit on. I don't know, 120 hertz just makes doing actions so much smoother and easier because there's no like latency at all in terms of the frames being put into your eyes. It just feels so natural. And also, we've got to take time to appreciate the fact that all the buttons mapped here in terms of what you're touching, uh, they, they actually show up. It's so sick. But everything capacitive touch-wise is there. Nuts. Anyway. Wow. Uh, boost yourself with a jetpack. Nice. Do the same to Good get stuff. to the next one. Your jetpack can make it, trust me on this one. Just make sure you keep holding forward until you reach the that. other side. Uh, yeah. Obviously there has to be talking for the, for the narrative to happen and the dialogue to happen. But I would just love to be able to sit here and just listen to the sounds, you know, and take in the sights. And that does feel like it has depth. There are planets later on that feel a lot more uh, spacious, and we're going to be focusing on that today, and not just, like, the um, the indoor spaces, because the outdoor are a lot more uh, impressive. That's where the budget You're mostly probably goes. Still feeling a bit now, there's something in this room, though, that is really impressive, and the first time I saw it, it kind of blew me away, is this paper, right? I mean, this is more like laminated paper. But if you grab it from both sides, it bends, like real paper does, and then f comes back to its original shape. It's just like little things like that in terms of the weight in the world that makes it feel real. That's kind of funny, the way that's splayed. But yeah, you can properly bend stuff. There we go, now, it, now it's kept its bent shape. I've broken it. This next bit is where the game really started to cement its goated status to me. Don't worry about it. We'll find some answers soon enough. Uh, there's a bit of exposition, Crossing you know. The alert. Ah. Approaching destination. Here we go. Initiating deceleration sequence. <laughs> Thrusters ready. Oh, it's so clear. Drive. Here we go. It's very megalophobic. You nervous? Calculating approach vectors. Haptics in the controllers going off. Path verified. Initiating docking maneuver. There we go. It's just, because this, that's the thing with scale, right? Is, we were in that, coming down from way up there, and you saw the scale of this whole asteroid, which looked tiny. And then once you're down here, you see how really big it is. And then you see the scale of the actual, like, ring belt itself. And then you look down at the planet below, and it's moving, like it's animated. It's just mind blown. And then you come down here, and you have to jump over it. It's it's pretty scary. But yeah, the sense of scale is just nuts. Because it's giving you an object of reference, which is this asteroid that you've seen on the way up, you understand how big of a drop that is. And then you can even come over and do this, which makes things a hundred times worse. You ready? Yeah, that's still going. That's still going. Still going. It's a little dot down there. S can still see it? Okay, it's gone. Yeah, it's just nuts. I'm, I I've never experimented with this before, so I'm gonna jump off and see how long it takes before it kills me. 
Okay, not very far. <laughs> I kind of wish it gave more, but, uh, <laughs> well. Now, the final place I want to show off is... Tryon. Pretty much the last set piece, one of the big three in terms of showing you big, expansive planets. However, there are some other set pieces in the game that are indoors that look very good, but this is the last one I want to show off because of the outdoor scale and how breathtakingly clear everything is. So, here we go. Can I walk up it? Oh, I can. It can just lower me down. Well, that feels weird. But, wow. Man. <laughs> I do love No Man's Sky for my space experience, but it is procedural and just handcrafted stuff like this. You can't really beat it. With how good and realistic as well that looks, it's just nuts. And the fact that, I don't know, there's just something about seeing the skybox, or I guess the backing assets, linked into where you are. So you've got this like kind of sandy look and then it extends far out and you can see how that forms and the dunes and then it goes into the mountains. It's just nuts. Anyway, we're going to explore this up a little bit further than we did in the last few because getting on this train is incredibly uh, cool. Spooky. And the, the way light interacts and bounces dynamically as well is just so cool. Now there's a little puzzle to solve here and then we're on our way. So we just got to pick up these solar panels and whack them on here, I believe. And turn them so they get enough light. There's one of them. There we go. Out comes the train. It's all very, like, industrially inspired. It's very cool and cohesive design all the way through. I remember praising that in my original Done. review. Train's good to go. There we go. Great. Now. This bit, not only for scale, because you're assuming that we're just relegated to this bit. You know, there's going to be a loading screen now, and uh, that's going to be that. But no, it takes you out of the Stroke locale we were just in, and onwards. And haptic skull, when these go past, up. every time Dr. you go through the checkpoint. Lysenko? Dr. Haptics? Andre Lysenko. So sick. You've never heard of him? It's I do wish we'll moments know. more quiet Cosmo though. Bureau reports speak of a devastating I wish they wouldn't just talk through some of these moments. To be evacuated. Lysenko and his research, however... Like, I, I, I do appreciate obviously the story has to happen, but through some moments when you're coming through areas like that, you know, music like this would help to take in everything rather than them just talking at you. But, this is the final site we're arriving at here, on this level. That I want to show you. Purely for its industrial scale, because look at that. <laughs> it's so huge. I've reached the central hub. But yo. <laughs> oh my god. That's incredibly far down. But anyway, thank you all for joining me on this little revisit of some of Red Matter 2 sites. Um, it's kind of just reinforced the sentiment that this is one of the best looking games on PSVR 2, if not the best looking game, because it's 120 hertz, so incredibly smooth, foveate rendered, so everything is incredibly sharp when you look at it, and genuinely just has some incredible sights. So thank you all for joining me. Thank you to our patrons for supporting the channel. Luke Bentley, Phil Irving, Hazit Mirza, and Ace Gamer, all you guys support the channel and keep it running day after day and month after month. If you want to join that, the links are in the description below, and the link to the Discord is also down there too. So thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next video.